Hello everyone, it's Celine. I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to get logged in and find us. Thanks for being patient with me while I had a little bit of a cold. Um, that's never fun. I'm going to go find our um, broadcast here and, oh, let's see. Send it over to the creative group here. So actually here, let me copy the link. That might be better. If you're here, say hello. It looks kind of dark. I hope it's bright enough for you. Hmm, let me see if I can add any brightness to this. No, nope, that looks like it. Okay. Hey, Jill, how's it going? Good to see you. Nice to see you. Oh my goodness. Here, I'm just going to go over to the other groups and share these so that you guys can find me. Um, here we go. And just one more second. Darn computers take me a little bit. I sent out an email yesterday trying to get... Um, catalogs out to everybody because I got my first batch today. I just got two um, two packages of them. Well, two packages of each catalog and I've already gone through them. I have more coming tomorrow and then I have some coming on the slow boat. It's a thing. Um, it's more expensive the, the more you spend to get them there quicker. So um, I had to do a little bit of both. Here we go. All right, let's see. I'm going to just double check. I can see your comments. Hi, Tanya. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit better. You can probably still hear in my voice. I'm a little bit sinusy. And um, I have the remnants of a cold sore on my face. So I just decided to uh, not show my face today. But that's okay. Everything's good. I'm hanging in. Um, I wanted to let you know, I had a online workshop the night before Thanksgiving, and as you know, I got a cold, so I extended these packets out to December 10th. I have them all cut. They're ready to be mailed. They're free with a $35 order. If you spend $50, you'll get a full package of rhinestones instead of just the little bits that you need for your cards, but they're so pretty, and they're so sparkly, and best of all, they're pre-cut and pre-done for you. Look how beautiful this is. This is a, a die. So we did all the die cutting for you. And all you have to do is layer them and stick them together. They're very beautiful. So I figured I would open with that. Next, um, I'll talk about Card Club. Um, Card Club has expanded. We are almost at 60 members, which is pretty amazing. Um, and each of our members makes eight projects a month. I ship a uh, package to your door that includes at least $22 in product. And this month, we are doing shakers. Um, so these are really simple and beautiful. And there's actually no stamping on these. So um, if you wanted to get in on Stampers 8, I can post the link just after we get off the live and uh, send it out again before the deadline. If you're on my email list, um, you have to sign up by the 10th to get this month's kit. So that's, um, but oh my gosh. And I've already started cutting for them because um, you would not believe the piles of paper. <laughs> But it's really cool. And look, so you're going to want to have a Wink Stella brush because you're going to want to be able to add to them. But they're all just super cool. And, and all eight cards are shakers. So fun. So when I was done creating this card class, um, oh my gosh, it's so great. And, and you know what? I think it's a great service. I think people really enjoy getting the eight cards a month. I'm going to take a sip here. It's like... A whole bunch of cards for your Stampin' Pantry in a small amount of time. And I do a lot of the prep work, so all you have to do is sit down and um, have some fun. So um, when I was done uh, designing for this month's club, I had the rest of the Memories and More card pack left. And I still have some pieces here that I cut, which is kind of good because... You, um, you can see you get a ton of pieces in this card pack. You get um, four sticker sheets, two uh, 
each of two designs and that was me just playing and cutting stuff apart you know um and then um yeah so that's kind of what you got and you could see i started making some gift card holder um bits and i thought that maybe i would show you what i'm up to i um being not feeling well i um spaced well i didn't space i was sick um and I didn't get my team um, swap done. And I didn't want, because it's so late in the game, I didn't want to make them Christmas cards. So I took my leftover pieces and I made some um, gift card holders today because that was the theme in November. And they should have gone out like last week. Um, but I was, I was down for the count. But here's the idea. Um, you can... Uh, Put the gift card obviously in here and um it goes like that and uh that's one design and i guess i need to finish this one because i even decorated the back side of these so i'll go back and do that here in a minute um that one needs work but these other ones i've completed so this one instead of sticking the far end i stuck the middle piece to the base and then had it fold in and to do that, I had to trim a tiny little hairline off of this inside that folded in. Um, but that will mean that my gift card will sit here and I can write my message here. Okay. So, oh yeah, Jill, you got to have extra bags. I am with you there. Those, those uh, shaker bags are awesome. So um, here we go. This is the third one that I made. So again, I didn't just decorate the front or the inside. I decorated all sides of this and um, definitely uh, as I, before I mail these out to my team, I will um, be winking and finishing any little embellishments. You know, this one is pretty much done. It, I, I winked to the, oh, happy day. Isn't that pretty? So again, they're all a bit different. So this one opens this way. This one opens this way. This one needs a little work, so we'll put that to that pile and we'll make a pile over here of the finished ones. Here's this one. So this one folds different again. The, the pocket goes here. I can write my message here. And then here I have a little bit of extra detail um, when they open the card that way. You could uh, double up and put another pocket here and put a pocket here and have two gift cards. So if you're giving your daughter and her husband a, a night of babysitting and a night out, you could give her a gift card for dinner and a movie. Um, so there's that. So this one's pretty much done. This one is a birthday. Let's party. And of course I did the inside too. So that's cool. So they're all different because you get two each of a bunch of different designs in these. Um, but some of them are the same because when I cut them apart, I got two. So, um, here we go. So this one had a space for writing with lines. I thought that would be pretty to sign on. And again, this one's all done. Um, although I really want to put a little wink right there. Yeah. So these are going to go out in the mail today because I finished them, which is really cool. Um, and except for this one, which we have to finish, but we'll, we'll get back to that. So what I wanted to show you is um, this mechanism and it's, it's so easy. You can use it with any card making that you have. You it really goes well with memories and more. So if you have leftover Christmas memories and more, you could, you know, cut up your paper this way. Um, but you want to make a, a Z fold. And what I did was you start with an eight and a half by 11 and you cut it down to nine and three quarters. And I'm really not sure if when I cut this, if I cut it right. So I'm just gonna double check myself because one of my papers was too long, but I just wanna make sure that I'm at nine and three quarters, which is right there. And look, it's a hairline off. I'm just gonna fix it. Okay, the fuzz out of there. Okay, then I'm going to, oh see, I need my little sanding block that Trisha gave me. I will, I'll, I'll fix it. But then I'm gonna score this at three and a quarter. And uh, six and a half. Okay, 
Okay, so my paper is nine and three quarters and I scored it basically into thirds. And then I'm gonna cut it in half at four and a quarter. So that's what's gonna make my mechanism. And just cause I know that we're all visual people here. Um, here, let's find the fuzzy one. Fuzzy wuzzy. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's write on this one. So we're gonna say it was nine and three quarter. Oops, by four and a quarter. And then you score at three and a quarter and six and a half. So that essentially makes these three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch panels perfect for memories and more because the memories and more come three by four like this to layer on top, right? So you got me so far. So once you get to this point, you can fold your paper into Z's like that, okay? So there are other pieces that come in these memories and more packs. They come uh, four by six and three by four. So the other thing I did when I had my cardstock out was I took some of these four by sixes and decided which one I wanted to use. And then I could cut these down to three by four as well and use these as elements on my cards. So there's this one and um, hang on, there's a happy birthday here that I really liked. Um, let's see, oh, there it is. So for this one, the happy birthday smack in the middle. Um, so I cut an inch and a half off this side. Haha, -ha, a pocket for a gift card. And then I cut an inch and a half off of this side. So I've got like these little pockets ready to go. And then I have my happy birthday, which is gonna fit perfectly on my panel, okay? So for those of you that are in Card Club, a few months ago, um, I wanna say maybe even six months ago, we had a, a ribbon bundle included in club. So you may already have this ribbon in your stash from a previous club. Um, so if you have that, you can play with ribbons when you get your packet this month. Um, if not, you're still gonna be making all the shaker cards. So they're just so fun and cool on their own. I mean, yeah, hey, let me show them again. Yeah, like, hello. And if you're not in club and you uh, want the link to join, it's a PayPal subscription. It's uh, $39.50 a month and I ship you a box of love every month. It's so worth it. Um, it's a great deal and people love it. So. Opt in, opt out at any time. There's no commitment. Um, I'm real good about you know getting back to people if they wanna cancel or you can go in and cancel your payment on your own. Okay, so let's go back to this guy and we'll start with that. How about if we start with that happy birthday? So if you notice, my scoring wasn't perfect, right? And this side is looking a little bit long. So maybe that should be my front. If my card were to attach this way, it would open like one of the ones that the base was attached here. And I think for this one, I want it to open all the way. So I'm gonna flip this inside out like that, so that I know that when I've got my happy birthday in the front and it attaches to my card that this bottom piece will be on the base, right? But you can go any which way. We can go, we can do it other ways too. So I have my bone folder here somewhere. Aha, here we go. Okay, thank you, Robin. Oh, and you know what? I say a benefit of club is my friend Robin Gregor takes my designs and does them different every single month. So if you don't own the stamp set that um, that I did, Robin also gives you incredible ideas every single month. I love that she does that. It's such a great um, community of stampers. Okay, so I'm gonna just tie a ribbon on and oh, I'm feeling like making a bow. So we'll make a bow this time. Okay. So you won't be getting the ribbon for a club, but if you're in the club, you probably have it in your stash from a previous month. This was my favorite. 
it's like a baby blanket and it's got these little bits of silver going through it. They're so pretty. Um, if you don't have it, I would recommend picking up a bolt of it. Well, and I say a bolt, but it comes with three different colors and my scissors migrated. I have to go get scissors. <laughs> So I got my happy birthday. I got my bow tie here. And here, I'll put those, I'll put those measurements at the top of the screen here so that you guys can um, grab a screenshot if you need to. Um, okay, so here's my first card with this. And like I said, you can go any which way. You like the the bottom the the bottom could be the center, it could be this one. I mean it's there's a lot of possibilities and it's just so fun. So this little piece that we cut off here, um, that's gonna make a great gift card insert. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my tear and tape and for this I want to make sure that I am right up against the edge of my paper because I want to give enough room for the gift card to fit between the adhesive. And if I go in too far, it won't do that. So I literally lay this tear and tape down. It's sticky, sticky stuff. You can use it to like put boxes together. Whoops. Or you can use it to rip your paper apart. <laughs> Sorry, that's fine. Um, and then I'm going to take my take your pick tool. And this is the easiest way. I've seen people struggle with the ends of these and it's so easy just to take it and put um, the middle, under the middle, the spatula, and it'll it'll take that piece right off. Oh, my barrel moved to the other side of the room. We did, today was recycle day, trash day here. Okay, so the adhesive is here. So when I pick this up, I'm gonna put it here to leave an opening here. Okay, so I had a pile of gift cards here on the table. I, I have a, a pile, I call them crash test dummies, but um, what I really could put in here is my business card, which I also, see I cleaned the table, that's a problem. Once you clean the table, you can't find anything. It's all good. Let's go back through my pile of tricks here and see. Um, I've got a few things over here that I, I just had like a pile of stuff. So um, they, these cards, they're just awesome. And you get so many of them, it makes it easy to try and figure out like different possibilities, right? So I kind of like this blue. I like the yellow too. Uh, it's so hard to decide. So you guys can help me with this. Um, do you want to use an Azure Afternoon base? And this has already been embossed. I, I put the crosshatch embossing on it. This is from the Basics 3D embossing folder. So we can put it like that, okay? Or we can put it with, um, blueberry bushel, which is also in there with the dark stars, right? So nice contrast. Or we can put it with the lemon lolly. And um, again, all three of those colors are in here somewhere. It's pretty cool, huh? So you like blue. There's two blues, Marcy. Are you going to do the dark blue or the light blue? Blueberry bushel or azure? and we'll uh, stick this buddy together. So while you guys are telling me what color you want me to put, there's lemon lolly, blueberry bushel, or azure. Um, I'm gonna take the opportunity to take these. Oh, you know, that's kind of fun. We cut this apart to put the yay you. Why don't we put that on the inside and let it connect? It's pretty cool. So you like the light blue? Okay. I think I have to cut another quarter sheet for that to get a base for it, but we can do that. I just have to grab the paper. I just had 
I had to get more paper because I cut every bit of paper that I had for Stamp Club. So I replaced it today. All right, so there's the inside of the, like kind of the back, right? And there's the gift card holder. Um, and don't want to be neglected, my Wink Estella. Yay, you. All right, so here's the one that's already embossed. And I'm just gonna add some adhesive to the back side of this one. No, DNA is extra. Okay, so then um, I also really am feeling like these are better with Wink is everything's better with Wink Estella, right? So even for club, you the, you won't need any stamps this month because like all of these are pre-printed and they're gorgeous and they're fun to work with and there'll be plenty to play with after, but gosh, you really do need Wink Estella. <laughs> so you'll also get for club um a full package of these. Um so it's it's usually at least $22 in full product, plus the eight cards and envelopes every month. And um, you can do it here at the studio or I ship it to your door. Uh, this month I had to get a little creative because I was sick the week of club and um, I pushed it out so that I wouldn't make anybody sick. Because honestly, um, I don't want to. Okay, so here we go couple of dots. Now this needs a base. Let me just grab, I'll grab a piece of paper and we'll cut one. Oh. Okay. So I'm not going to make a standard card base. This is just going to be like a card front because you'll write on the inside. So I just need to cut it down to five and a half by four and a quarter. So that's another one. So uh, that's this one. Okay. And then there was one we had to finish, right? Huh. I don't know what I did with it. Is this the one? Nope. That's the club one. Jeepers. Well, I guess I'll just keep going then. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. So this one, I went the other way um, and I grabbed another card and um Oh, my video is frozen on the playback. I'm just going to double check that I'm still there. Um, oh, yeah, you know what? Good point. I should stick one, stick a little something here. Because I, I think it really, on all of them, I put a little something on all the panels. Even if it's just uh, one of the sheets from the stickers. But it gives it, like, something. So that's the piece you write on. And then the gift card goes there. Um, okay, so that one's good. Now we need this one. Um, so this one was kind of going the other way. So these went like straight up and down. These went to side to side. So when I go through here, I want to see if there's anything that when I open it up. Oh, I like that. So we can do that. These I cut in half this way and did the same thing um, with the adhesive to do a gift card holder piece for the inside. So you could do that again, like cut it at one and a half and have it be, um, but I, that's so cute. How could you not? And then uh, just stars are fine. So we'll put the adhesive here. You see how fast these go together though. So that's that's that, but it's not like naked on the inside. It's all put together and but that's what I did for this one. I cut it down at one and a half and put the adhesive all the way on the outside and then you can just tuck your gift card holder in. Or your gift card. 
Okay. So for my team, um, usually when I do a card swap, they all get different cards, but this, I um, mean, they all get the same card. This time they're going to get all different ones. For this one, I cut it at one and a half twice to cut the you did it out. And let's see if I can show you the insert one on that one. Because I did, I did them all different. So that that's what it looks like, just the the one and a half. So you can go either way if there's uh, words in your way. Okay. Okay. So let's see. We did this way. We did that way. We did that way. I want to show you the one where you do the middle. Oh, and this one's like, yep, super cool. So they're all a little different, which is cool. So this one opens and then it opens again. So the center panel gets stuck to the, ba the card base, which I like. Um, so let's do, and this yellow is already cut. So let's do that. We'll, we'll start with the yellow and um, I'm going to fold these in. And when I do that, oh, it's perfect, which is funny. I didn't expect that. Didn't expect it to work out that well. Okay, hang on. I would like a bone folder. I just had it in my hand a few minutes ago. That's what happens when you make cards. It gets real messy. <laughs> All right, that's okay. I'm gonna use the back side of my Sharpie, like a bone folder. Whatever, I just want it to sit down nice when I assemble this, so. So I'm getting a nice crease on that. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got. We've got bigger pieces and, hmm, enjoy today. So thrilled for you. Keep in mind, I've already used so much of this kit that I am whittling down to like the nothing, the, the what's left. Congrats, you deserve it. So this one, you would just have to cut this way and it would open that way. Um, actually, let's do that. That's really cool. Um, so here's my four by six. And I need to cut this at three so it sits on my base here. Oh, that's pretty. And um, here, let's uh, tie a ribbon this way. So that it's super versatile. You could do this a hundred different ways and have a gift card holder. Um, and be it could be different every time, which is cool. It's just the template that's the most important part, right? The one that I covered all, with all my gunk for the measurements, you know. All right, here we go. So I just tied a bow. That's really pretty long. I don't want to cut it too short. I'm going to just go nice and easy here. I like the way it's curving there. Pretty. Ugh, gorgeousness. All right. Hey, Tasha. Hey, Trish. Hey, Brenda, thank you very much for watching. Nice to see you. You guys are awesome. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, so there's the, um, the main bit of it. What um, embellishment should we use? Do you, the green, the blue, the pink, or the yellow? You tell me. And um, while you guys are coming up with that, we'll do the gift card piece of it. So this one's going to open twice. And because you read it this way, I think I'm going to put the gift card holder here. Um, so we just need to find one of the pieces that I cut. And like literally, I just sliced these in half. So I can um, put some tear and tape on it in theory. Oh, <laughs> when I find it. Okay, so I want the tear and tape at the bottom here. Hey, 
Jody. Good to see you, my friend. All right, so here we go. Yeah, I love that this is also a treat for my clubbers because um, club members get little extra perks here and there. I designed a whole card class, a, a bingo at retreat with this that I can go post the directions to our club page. We have a uh, private Facebook group where I put up all of the PDFs and it's kind of like a gym membership. As long as you're a member, you have access to everything. I email out the uh, PDFs and the videos every month as well. Cause I do have like, I think one or two people that are not on Facebook, but I try to also just hit everybody, you know? Okay, so there's the front of the card. It's gonna open down like that. So we've got our gift card holder here. So the gift card will slide in here. And of course, uh, my pile of business cards disappeared. So I'll just take one from another card and so you can see. All right. Cute, cute, huh? All right, so now we need to find another something to put here. And it could honestly say something else because, um, yeah, there's all kinds of things. Let's see. Cheers to you would be great, but it's going the wrong way. Um, there's stickers. I really like this uh, yay, yay, yay sticker. Um, let me see if we can find something that has a border. So on the backs of these, there's always a surprise, you know, like you never know what you're going to find. And you could keep going when you're all done with this class. You can do this. Good times. Today will be great. Congrats. Hello, lovely. Best wishes. I mean, you could put those on anything and just keep going. That's pretty. Hip, hip, hooray. Or we could put that at the top. Let's do that. So that's up here. That's adorable. Can you even? Ugh. Okay. All right. And then let's see what else. Oh, look, we get this one. Okay. And then I liked the yay, yay, yay. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, right in front of my noggin. So you can layer these stickers as well. So I put this over the little arrow that said yay you, but I don't want it to say yay you. I want it to say yay, yay, yay. I guess I could have did it on my project, but whatever. Um, I think I even would like it going this way, but then it's too short. So what do you do? Because arrows should always point up. I don't know why. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, I don't love it as much now. That's funny. Well, that's why they make a... Uh... I think I just want it in the middle. All right, so hip, hip, hooray, yay, yay, yay. <laughs> it's so cute. Hey, Peggy, thanks for joining us. Pink, yes, pink. I love these, these colors, they're so soft. This is bubble bath, and um, I have a lemon lolly base kind of slotted for this because I thought it looked good with the yellow that's in the card. So this one opens different. Again, it opens from the middle. So we've done it like three or four different ways. And so this is more of the congratu uh, congratulations. Um, I did birthday for the other ones, but it gives you plenty of room to here to write if you'd like. Um, and give a gift card holder. Uh, give a gift card with your holder. It makes it more personal, I think. So here they are. There's one, two, three, four, 
four, five, six, opens the other way, seven, and remember that came out of the middle of the four by six, eight, and that one opens from the middle. And I, if you have to, you can trim this side just a little bit to get it to sit down better. And that, I just layered up the stickers. This one, I also cut a four by six down to three by four. Yeah, just like that. And they're all decorated and pretty and ready to mail out. Now, something I do for my mail that sometimes you may not know about. Um, with my team swaps, I like to mail them in our clear envelopes. Stampin' Up! has clear envelopes. And so when my team member is getting their swap in the mail, how fun that they'll be able to get it in a bag that they can see what it says before they get it. So I'm going to take my pre-addressed um, paper. So I cut some um, computer paper down to five and a half by four and a quarter, just like a card front. And I put their address label here and my return address label. And of course, I'm not showing their address because I don't know if that's okay. Um, and I, you know, privacy and all that, whatever. But um, you address it like normal. I'll put my finger over Karen's address. And then um, you put the stamp up here, Karen's address is where my finger is, and then the stamp has to go on the outside of the plastic bag. It does require extra postage. I buy the two ounce stamps anyway, um, and I mail them just like that in the bag. So when Karen does get her swap in the mail, it'll be in a clear bag, and it's all sparkly. <laughs> so um, there's that. Um, I talked about club. We've done a uh, demo pre-order was today. Oh gosh, yeah, there's more. So I just got a box, my first box from the demo pre-order. You guys wanna see what I got? I'll have to move some of this stuff out of the way. Give me a second. <sighs> All right, so there's those measurements again for that cool gift card holder, if you need them. Nine and three quarter by four and a quarter, oops. <laughs> Score on the nine and three quarter side at three and a quarter and six and a half. And then you can um, fold this way or you can fold it in and in, you know, there's so many ways you can go. Okay. And I'll still have more stuff to make cards with these. And I designed club with it and I'm still going with the same memories and more pack. It's crazy how fun that this is. Okie doke. So demonstrators all over the country have been getting the new catalogs in their mailbox. I don't know. I know Brenda was saying she didn't get hers yet. She's all the way up in Maine and was feeling frustrated, but I do have my catalogs here. I'm not allowed to open them or show you the inside just yet, but I can show you the box of goodies that I got today. I'm getting another box of goodies tomorrow. This one took priority. I wanted to get some catalogs in my hand, especially for my club members who are picking up their club stuff this week. Hang on one second. All right, I got a box of love here. All right. For the gift card holders. Oh, I used the, um, uh, bright. It's the, oh, well, that would be good to know the name of it, huh? Um, it's the same as my club. That's why I'm all jammed up. Uh, bright and beautiful. Ha. Okay. So I got pre-order today and I thought that maybe I would show you some of the things that are coming. Um, I get to cut into this. I'll be, I'll be doing a, um, event for my team to kick off celebration and the January through April catalog. However, 
um, I will invite all of you to participate as well, as I always do, because everybody's welcome. Okay, so here we go. Oh, Brenda, I'm so glad you got it. Okay. So this one is just kidding, and it has Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, Calypso Coral, Copper Clay, Crushed Curry, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Lemon Lime Twist, Melon Mambo, Night of Navy, Old Olive, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, and Pretty Peacock. So if, uh, for people who would sign up to be a demonstrator, you can get these in your starter kit because you pick out $125 in product, um, your choice, and you pay $99 plus tax in the state that you live. And then uh, shipping is free on the starter kit. And then once you get the starter kit, you can pre-buy and pre-earn celebration items from the January through April catalog and get them before everybody else, which is pretty cool. All right, we were just playing with cute stars. Check, check out the back of these. So I love that uh, they have a little bit of everything kidding around. I'm not usually into like all the kid images, but these are really cool. And there's the back side. Okay. I'm, I'm really drawn to these this year. Like when I look at the catalog as a whole, you know, uh, look at the ducks. My daughter has a thing for ducks. Um, maybe it's all the cruises we've been on, but, uh, oh my gosh. And then there's fishing and uh, somebody with flowers, maybe flowers from mom. That would be a good Mother's Day card. Um, and then there's the back side of that. Wow. So, wow. Okay, let's do the top first. This is a six by six, right? Could you see making a little board book with this? Wow, that's cool. And then this is six by four. So you could make cards with these. Um, and trim the six by four down to uh, five and three quarter. You know, that's the other thing I didn't tell you about that bright and beautiful kit. If you have a, 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 a four by six, you can trim it to five and a quarter and it layers perfectly on a card. So this one's already trimmed down and it could be the background like a designer paper. But, but so these are six by four. If you were gonna layer them on a standard card, you'd wanna cut it at five and a quarter, but wow. Very pretty. Okay, let's see, to the bottom. And then, oh, they got books. Um, local florist where I sell my cards, she's been asking me for cards with books because um, she's got some librarians that shop there. Love it. And I know that they're little kids, but they're really cute images. You could, you could circle cut though. You know, there's so many ways you could. So pretty. All right, I don't know what she's holding. Is it a rat? It's so funny, dog, bunny. Is it, I don't know if it's a cat or a dog. I don't know. I guess I should put my glasses on. So cute. Ugh, can't even stand it. And then hearts on the back, yay. I'm a fan of hearts. And um, Valentine's. So cute. I love her little glasses. Oh my gosh. Very, very cool. Okay, and then, oh, did I show you the back? There's blue pattern. Okay, so that was Just Kidding. Okay, let's see what else we have. All right, this one is perennial lavender. I guess I should like keep everything in the bag because you know that like it'll get separated. All right. So I, I suppose I should take it out of the bag just so you can properly see it, right? All right. It is what it is. Okay, so here's the front. So pretty. This is like a scrapbook page waiting to happen. You could just put a, a title there and have your pictures and call it a day. Like, wow. Scrapbooking made easy. 
But with patterns that are busy like this, I like to cut it up and use just a small piece. Um, they're just lovely though. Wow, look at all that purple. They have a purple embellishment that goes with it. Let me see if I, can, if I have any of them in this box. No, they didn't, they didn't make this box, but you know what? I know I have them. So there's a purple embellishment. Here we go. To match. Let's see, right? Ooh. Um, and it's purple fine shimmer gems. Very, very pretty. Okay. And then more lavender. Wow, this is beautiful. And the butterflies. They have um, butterflies that are already die cut out for you. So they come like this. And you can um, use your blending brush to color them, but the best part of these is you get, uh, let's see, 40 die cut butterflies and you don't have to roll them through. <laughs> well, if, especially with, if an image is fussy, look at that together. That is just stunning. Wow, okay. I can see this one making some gorgeous cards too because if you took a section of it you know like you cut it five and a quarter by four by four by four you could have like frames of oh, stunningness cool on the back there's a gingham masculine pattern you could use to make eye cards Always looking for a good masculine paper too. And right in the middle of a flower pack, that's cool. Oh, ready for this? Stunning. I love it. Wow. So spring definitely has a lot of fun coming, huh? So when my team comes to the meeting on Sunday, I'll have all of these samples so that they can see them and touch them at the meeting. Um, long distance, of course, we can work something out, but uh, Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Lost Lagoon, Orchid Oasis, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, Starry Sky. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I didn't think it was going to be in my taste looking at the catalog, but wow. I mean, yep, I was wrong. Okay. Let's see what we got next. Uh -huh. I couldn't wait to get my hands on this. It is the Rock and Roll 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. I mean, as you know, I love music. I have a lot of friends that are musicians. Making cards for them is sometimes tricky, but this is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Anybody who likes music will like this, I think. Okay. I'll take a sip. Okay. Ooh, look at the background pattern. So again, you could blending brush these. They're black and white, so it's so versatile. You could make those guitars like shiny red or whatever color you want. Wow, I love it. Okay, so then there's this pattern. A little busy, I know, but again, like I would just use a little strip of it. Cool. Wonder what the process was to make that. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, stunning. Ah, they look like little records. Looks like a DJ table, actually. And then um, this would be great, Starry Sky. And again, um, if you use blending brushes, you could make it like um, any color you want. Gorgeous. I don't know if it's like, it's like crinkled paper, but it's all flat and pretty. Love it. Hey, Cindy. Nice to see you. North Dakota. Is it chilly there? Oh, these are gorgeous. 
my goodness. I'm so happy I got these. I was like not sure if I was going to get them because I wasn't sure how they'd sell, but I got these for me. <laughs> and they're all black and white. So, so versatile. Um, fantastic. Okay. Let's see what we got. Most adorned. This is one of the fancy ones. You can tell because of the way the bag closes. Let's see. It comes against a, a piece of cardboard, which is nice, so I can stick it back in when we're done. Um, oh, wow. Did you see that? Oh, my God. Look at how cool that is. I like this side. Woo. I know this side's shiny, but... Ugh. Yowza. Hmm. This reminds me of like those painting videos, you know, like where they take paint and they use different ways to move it around. It's so cool. And ah, oh, look it. Can you say Valentine's Day? Wow. I love it. I just have to check. I think this might be celebration. Um Oh, beautiful. I love these. It's making me rethink my choices of stamp sets. Um, because I just want to do Valentine's Day with this so badly. Look at how pretty that is. Oh. And then um, the, this is a gold foil flower that you could use blends or any medium and color it in. Um or you can color the outside and not color the flower. We've done that before. Oh, I love this paper. Oh, this might be my favorite. All the hearts, they make me happy. I'm, I'm a heart person. Oh my gosh. Here's the back side of that one. Yep, this is Celebration. Thanks, Cheryl. I, I can't really look in my catalog and not show you, you know. Uh, they're beautiful. Wow. I'm absolutely in love with this one. Yowzer. So I think that this one is free with a $50 order during celebration, but I got it on pre-earn uh, with my order, my pre-order. So that's how I got it early. Let's see. There are benefits for being a host, um, but hopefully it didn't mess with my video. My daughter, it, the only one who can get through on my phone when I'm on Do Not Disturb is my daughter. So hopefully all is okay. Um, sunny days. So here's another designer paper. Uh, Cheryl, is this, is this a celebration too? Oh, this is so fun. Thank you so much, Cindy. That's very nice. I appreciate you sharing. Oh, look at the red and green. In the spring, that's funny. It's uh, shaded spruce and real red. It really is sunny. Um, when I first saw it, and it was called Sunny Days, I was like, all I see is rain clouds. But um, I can see why they call it Sunny Days. It's so bright and cheery. I like the... Uh, Oh, look at the rainbows. Talk about great, um, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, I'm sorry, Robin. I, I, it might have been when she was calling me. 50 lashes with a wet noodle from my Alexis. Hey, Bri, can you text her? Um, strawberries and um, butterflies. Oh, wow. I love these flowers. Oh, like I said, the catalog just doesn't do them justice. Wow. And then all the sunshine on the back. Oh, I love it. Yo, and then the cherries. I did cherries with uh, Stamp Club, like towards the beginning. And they were gorgeous cards. I love these. Oh, just the color balance too, the red. Real red, um, shaded spruce, 
pool party and petal pink. Like, awesome, awesome color combination. So this one's a celebration too, also free with any $50 order. Wow. They really knocked it out of the park. So this is a celebration reward. Uh, heartfelt hellos. It is free with a $50 order uh, um, in January, starting January 4th. Or if you're a demonstrator and you place a demonstrator order, you can pre-earn these things early. Uh, love you more. Enjoy your day. Thinking of you this Easter. Happy Mother's Day. I love the font. I love everything about it. You can imagine that you will see a class coming up with this soon. Oh, Alexis is here. <laughs> Thanks for making my phone go bonkers. It's okay. You're the only one that, ha that can get through when I'm uh, on Do Not Disturb. Will you and Nana? So this is another uh, specialty, Nature Sweetness. I think that this is a catalog item. Um, it, there's, a, there's actually a suite that goes with this. There's two bundles in the suite, and they're all um, super pretty. Here, let's, there's the back. And again, the catalog samples just don't do this justice. That's stunning. Oh, fun, like a newsprint um, with a gold splatter on top. I love that. Oh my gosh, these are great. Very vintage. Oh, and then these, I would imagine you could either cut down to five and a quarter by four layer on a card, or you could fussy cut around the images and layer them onto a card. Boy, wouldn't that be gorgeous. Wow. That's kind of like done for you if you like to fussy cut. That would be a really great project. Stunning. Young tree bearing to, yeah, paint splatter. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So different in person than in the catalog. I can't even, I actually like that I was able to see them in person. Um, okay. This one I already have a pack open. Hang on. I'm gonna, because we were able to pre-buy that with, uh, on stage, on stage is a demonstrator only event that they show us products and classes and all of that. So, um, these you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the same design. They're beautiful actually. Um, but here's the front and here's the back. Beautiful. Hi, Nicole. Thanks for joining us today. Here's the next paper. So we've got diamonds and swirls. Ah, this is super fun. I can see birthday cards with this. It's very light and cheery. Um, and this goes with the hot air balloon bundle. Like I said, there'll be a, a, a catalog launch coming at you soon. I gotta get a date for my local haul still. Oh, so pretty. I think that's Lemon Lolly. Let me see. Yep, Lemon Lolly. And then uh, the dies actually have two ways you can cut balloons. They actually have the heart ones, which I love. My team name is Stampers with Hearts, so I'm always doing hearts with them. Um, and these are pretty and soft. They'd be great for baby cards, baby colors. And oh, let's see. Oh boy. It, that ribbon that we were playing with earlier matches it perfect. Okay. 
Okay, and then we got stripes. And then uh, that azure, I think that's, a, no, that's balmy blue. Um, super light and pretty. All right. What's in the first box? Jungle Pals. These are, oh, and, and one of my very first picks was Thoughtful Expressions because I liked the dyes. So let's see if I can. I have a whole other box that I haven't cut into yet too. So um, I bet you my dyes are in the other box, but um, aren't these cute? Uh, this is a celebration set free with a $50 order. I believe that the dyes are free with a hundred. Um, and there is a die set that goes with it and it tends to sell out fast. So if you want the uh, die cut for this, I would like put that as a priority. Um, in the past, they've sold out quickly. Let me grab the other box because um, I think I'm missing a few things here. Oh. Unboxing is always fun, but if you uh, missed the beginning of this, I would definitely go back and see my swaps. Um, I finally got them done. And uh, they're going in the mail today, provided I finish this live before 5 o'clock. I've been talking forever. Let's see. Okay. Oh, so these are the, the bling bling that goes with the... Uh, oh. Hang on, I gotta put this on the floor. Here we go. This goes with the rock and roll paper and the rock and roll bundle. Oh my gosh. Might be my favorite thing. I just, seriously. Oh, how cool. All right, I'm gonna take it off the transfer sheet so you can see, the, see them better. Oh, and I moved it. Whoopsie. Lost a star too. I don't want to be neglecting my stars. Oh, it's good. It's stuck. All right. So that's just so you could get a better look at it. I guess I could move it back where it goes. It would look more fancy if I did, huh? But, you know, getting it on there. Ta -da. So that's the... It's It just moved around because I pulled it off the transfer sheet. You wouldn't be doing that, right? leave it there so that you can get a handle on it when you want to pick it up okay so there's that I got the love this moment stamp set and it has some really great organizational things it has this grid that I have been looking for for my to-do list forever and ever, and I can't wait to try and stamp with it in my um, in my to-do book because then I can, when I design a class, there's a, there's a number of things that have to happen. So um, you design it, you cut for it, PDF, video, <laughs> like there's, there's so many things. So if I just had ch like the check boxes and the, the categories as I design my classes, I could have design prep and then I can just check off a box instead of writing all that out every single time. So I've been wanting something like that. Okay, let's see. These are Everyday Details dies filled with happiness. This goes with the big oval punch so you can punch out the middle and the back still stays. And, um, as you can see, the, the stamps are separate, so you could stamp one and mix and match like the happy birthday with the oranges. Um, it doesn't have to go, you know, whatever way. You can you can mix and match these. Just a note, you're wonderful, I appreciate you. Um, totally great set. I love this one, really, really. Thoughtful expressions. So this one goes with this guy. Can't wait to wheel into these. This is so fun. Yeah, Bonnie, it's a great set. Well, and I, I just want it to like organize my world. <laughs> Sometimes I run on caffeine and oh, look at these. 
I knew when I saw that, that these shapes, like for stamping sentiments and um, for adorning uh, uh, images. So this hummingbird could be cut out and put over it, or you could get the, you could put the hummingbird inside the die cut if you'd like um, and layer it up, but they're all nestable gorgeousness. Uh. And then, um, wow. Just, just a wow. These are everything I was hoping they would be. Um, but then you can take these and line them up. That's a great sentiment for uh, sympathy. And isn't that true? Sometimes there are no words. Here's that. And then I know that there's a little bit of extra space. You could either make it smaller by cutting twice or you could score twice and have it stand up in the middle. Beautiful, beautiful images. I'm very happy with this one. Ooh. Might be the first thing I design with actually. I, I really like it that much. Okay, yay. So glad I got that one. I didn't, and like I'm weird about birds sometimes. <laughs> True story, but. All right, they didn't show us this at all in the catalog I feel like. Let's wheel this open. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Robin, I think that we're uh, we're on the same page there, girlfriend. Wow, these are beautiful. Okay, let's start with the three by fours. So we just made those other projects using those measurements. So you could take any of these and make them into cards, gift card holders, whatever suits you, but this just doesn't need anything else. Wow, okay, so I love you each and every day. So I like to take, and I'll just use this as a placeholder, and it's the wrong color, but you can do this and then cut a mat for it, and you've got a card. So beautiful. Dream big. Love it. Looks like I got three of those. Hopefully somebody else didn't get one. The world needs more people like you. Love it the happy life. But again, you can take any of these and layer them up any which way. Hello there. I like this. You could put a, a nice ribbon across the top and these are just so done and ready to go. I mean, yowza. You are nothing short of amazing. Mm. You are my sunshine. The details. I love you to pieces. Oh, so pretty. Moments to remember. If you're not a scrapbooker, can I just tell you about this? Um, when you're thinking of something in your day, if you just have a chance to write it down, do it. Because I'll tell you what, there are things that I have in my scrapbook that I don't ever remember writing. And I love going back to it and really kind of documenting life. And um, that these cards are great for that. You could throw some in your purse and just have them so that when you take pictures, you can marry them up later. Oh wow, those, that's pretty. It's like a newsprint, but it's gorgeous. The world needs more people like you. Enjoy today, love forever, do what makes your soul happy. Today we celebrate, I love you, happy life. These are great. And then, ah, picture perfect. Yowza. Life is wonderful. This is more newsprint look, but I love the back. I mean, wow, these are great. I can see doing um, bingo with these. Fabulous. Okay, so these are sticker sheets and they're sparkly. They have um, copper foil wowzer. 
gorgeous. So you get two of that design. And then two of these, Sweet Memories, My Heart, Birthday, Love You to Pieces, Hello for You, Love This, Birthday, Anniversary, Life. So happy birthday, happy anniversary. Then they have those long floral sheets. These are really great stickers. They're like the old Memories and More, uh, uh, the old uh, Simply Scrap Em ones. They're not like chintzy. They're heavy-duty cardstock stickers. Um, they do such a great job. Oh, and there's more stickers. Woohoo! Um, and there's sparkle like copper. Yo, so pretty. You could color the butterfly. Oh, just awesome. Okay, so then these, keep in mind, they're four by six, but they fit that three by four profile again. Um, so you could cut this at three potentially, and if it doesn't quite fit, because it does look funny, you could cut it here and then cut it so it goes to four by three. Both sides are beautiful though. And then, love that. Imagine giving somebody a card with this and giving them all the things you love about them. Like, huh, you can do hard things. Gorgeous. What side to use? That's hard. When you like both sides, what do you do? Um, enjoy the little moments. Like this is a perfect example. If you were to cut this at five and a quarter, it would layer on a card perfectly. Um, and it's, it's gonna fit. Gotta love that. Same thing with this. And I know the color is not right, but you get the idea. We're, you know, run a ribbon. So easy, so beautiful. Hello, beautiful. And this one you could trim equal amounts to get it down to the uh, five and a quarter. If it just barely fits here, you can still just trim it to get it to fit on a card front. Gorgeousness. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> Gotta love new stuff, right? Oh my gosh. So this is coming out January 4th, or if you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order two of them, um, which is awful cool. Let's see what else we got here. Huh. I got a free gift from Stampin' Up. That's nice. Surprise. Love when you open a package and there's a free gift. I try to do that as much as I can. Surprise and delight, right? This is um, it's cardstock, basic white cardstock, five by seven. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Something different. Um, let's see. We've got the Let's Chat photopolymer stamp set. I just love the way that the phone cord has the word in the middle. Um, the, when I saw this, this was one, like the, one of the first things on my list. Um, I think it's adorable. And my mother used to have a phone just like that on what she called a gossip bench. And she used to say in Gaelic, because she's Irish, uh, that donkeys have big ears. Whatever that means. Anyway. And she was gossiping on her gossip bench. Oh, so here we go. This is the stamping glass mat. So demonstrators can pre-order this right now for $60. It is going to be a celebration freebie when you purchase a starter kit. Uh, starting on January 4th. This is pretty cool. So if you are, I'm excited. I've had a glass mat before and I, and I haven't used it in a bit, but I'll tell you what. Um, uh, what's that? Okay, I just wanna make sure I get this right. Glass mat accessories, but it doesn't say what this is. For, Oh my. 
way. It's got some weight to it. It is very heavy. Um, yowza. I'm gonna break a nail trying to get into it. Hang on. So, um, wow. I can see why they're $60. It's heavy. It's made of tempered glass, which is supposed to be very durable. Okay, so this is the cloth. This is the cleaning cloth. Thanks, Trish. Yep, thanks, Pam. Cool. All right, so let's go. Booyah. Oh, look at this. It's got measurements up to 13 inches. It also has centimeters. Um, so you can go either way, which is cool. Because uh, how many times are you looking at a video somewhere and it's in, uh, in Europe or whatever and it comes in metric? Wow. So this is like quite awesome. Oh, oh my gosh, I feel like Christmas just came. This is fantastic. So if you're a demonstrator, this is $60 on your um, pre-order. Or you can use it as part of your starter kit that your 125 that you pick. Um, I ended up getting it half price because I had a $450 party by myself. And um, this was my half price item. So I ended up getting it for 30, but wow, what a steal it is pretty awesome. You know, I have to say, I oftentimes will stamp on a plastic table, and this is a nice solid stamping surface, so I don't have to worry about um, my images not coming out crisp. Wow. Let's see. I'm going to move my take your pick so I don't, I just need a space on my table for it. Wow. Wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, so it's got these little rubber feet on it. Um, I don't know if you can see all of them, but the rubber feet are keeping it from moving on my table. So it's just on there. I love it. And there's not too much of a glare from my lights, although you, you get a little bit. Let me see if I move over a little, if it'll fix the glare. Okay, so here's my cleaning cloth. So I've done like crazy projects on these. Like um, I've mixed, you know, that our paste. Um, it's nice when you have a surface that you can clean up and this is one of them. Oh yeah, wow. That is super soft um, cleaning cloth. It's a little bit damp. Microfiber, I'm guessing. Cool. And then this is to attach to the glass if you're working with stuff. Like we've been doing a lot of those shaker cards lately and sometimes the stuff goes everywhere. This is like a little mat and all your stuff goes in here. Now I will also say that this is the exact size of a Stampin' Spot. So if you have... Um, if you use your Stampin' Spots with the old Stamparatus or whatever, and or if you use it for Paper Pumpkin, this is a, a little spot where your Stampin' Spots will fit. Unbelievably cool. And it doesn't move. It's just awesome. Wow. Stampin' Up, you outdid yourself on that one. I think everybody's going to want one. Yowza. Okay. Let's see. Oh, these go with the Bumblebee Suite. I think this is the thing that I'm gonna be doing for my team meeting on Sunday. I wanted to get my swaps out of the way before I did my uh, team meeting design. So that's next on the docket, probably tonight. And you can hear that I'm still a little sinusy. Hopefully by Sunday I'll be fine. I've, I've done the 10 days of antibiotics. I don't know what it was, it was crazy. So these are the dies that go with the Jungle Pals. I'll move that for a minute. This was my number one pick. Hooray for surprises. I really liked it. Um, there's dies that go with it too. And Jungle Pals moved here. So um, 
I will be taking these and putting them on. But um, yeah, beautiful, the Jungle Pals dies. So this, this is free with 100, this is free with a 50. So if you um, decide that you wanna have a party, the 150, you also get um, the host rewards on that. So that's pretty cool. Yowza. All right, so hooray for surprises goes with this one. I love it. This looks like cross stitch um, frame to me. Let's see. So that's a heart with a tag, maybe? Different. I love the, the, the shape of this heart. And you're the best. Make a wish. Hope your birthday is wonderful. Sending you lots of love. Open here. Like a lot of these fit inside that heart, which I like. Oh, so the open here, this is cool. Um, this die is one of those rippers. So um, you know how like you get the envelopes in the mail that have the little rip thing? It'll die cut here and it will keep it, it attached. So if you have a gift card up underneath, oh, this one's going to be fun to play with. Um, you can, wow, I love it. Wow, yeah, this was my first pick out of the catalog for, because I just loved the fonts. I thought it was like, seemed simple and easy to work with. Um, so I can't wait to play the, look at the candles and the topper. Oh. Like there's big images, there's little images. Lots to play with, lots to play with. My brain is just firing here, opening all of this stuff. It's so cool. Um, but I think, oh, no, Everyday Details. That's the one I didn't open yet. This one I wasn't sure about because of the bird's nest. <laughs> but I do like the font and I like the words. I love the teacup. Um, what's the white tray? The white tray sticks it's silicone and it sticks to the glass mat and it's meant for like when you're working with detailed stuff so things aren't rolling off your table um the stampin spots fit inside the little squares here um it's pretty cool it's an organizer i would believe yeah that's where you pull the tab to open it's really like fun all right so here is Everyday details. Those are cool. So it looks like the dies have uh, dots on the inside that would poke out. Interesting. They look pretty. Looking forward to playing with those. And it they have so the stamp in here matches that pattern. It's like I said, it's so much easier to see it in person because when you're online, uh, like, or in the catalog, it doesn't always do it justice. So that's the end of my first shipment. I just wanted to share with you guys. And um, if you missed early on the gift card holders we made, I did uh, 10 different gift card holders with the memories in more, uh, bright and beautiful. And um, I showed how to make them. I showed 10 different samples. So um, that would be worth checking out if you want to catch the hashtag replay. So, um, yeah, no, they're really cool. I, I, I think that they did a really good job. This board is super heavy, and it hasn't moved since I put it on my plastic table. It's got these little grippy things in the corner. I don't know here if I can just go this way. Um, it's got these grippy things in the corner that just make it like hard to move on your table, but it's a nice solid stamping surface. And I think it's a new addition to my table. That's, I'm just gonna leave it here. It's beautiful. I'm very happy with it. I, the silicone mat, I might go this way so that when I, if I wanna, you know, use it for tools or whatever, 
um, or like if I'm working with embellishments, but wow, I love it. And that's the cleaning cloth. They did such a good job. I'm so impressed. All right. Well, that's it for today. And uh, yeah, exactly. Robin, you get a random gift card, but you've seen them all. So that's good. Um, yeah. And I would show my face, but like I said, I'm still getting over my cold a little bit and I uh, have a cold sore. So there's that. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week and thanks for joining in with me and um, stay tuned. There's tons coming. Uh, don't forget, it's the last few days, I think, to get this. I think I extended to the 10th because I was sick and I just didn't advertise it. Um, oh, just gorgeous. Look at that, how it layers. Isn't it beautiful? Um so that's free with the $35 order. And there's a host code that went out. Um, if you need more details on that, let me know. Um, club signups are also closing on the 10th. Everything closes on the 10th, huh? Um, this month's club are all shaker cards. And like I said, oh, they're just fantastic. And then today's video was just an inkling of what you could do with some of the leftovers. But you could just go for days with these. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye, guys.